you're watching this, that means you know that today is Cybernail's first birthday. So let's celebrate and jump right into the video. So now I'm showing you guys everything that I have. This blue one right here is from my first cell phone. It was a cute little LG. Don't work no more now. Here is a pile of all the extras that I have for my future nails or even press-ons that you guys buy. Here are some boards. These boards are used for desktops or any kind of electric appliance that requires boards and I have learned that some are easier to cut through than others so we're going to go with the easiest one which is the LG it's pretty thin they go it's like think about stacks of paper so basically the harder ones to cut are more like thousands and thousands of layers and this cellular board is more on the hundreds and hundreds side so it's very easy to cut but also while i was cutting it it started to bend a little so i kind of bent it back and i'm taking off a plastic film now and that just kind of protects the board between the board and the phone and also doing the same thing on the keyboard I'm taking off the little sensor metal pieces because I feel like those would be really cute to fill in the empty spaces on my nails so I'm just adding pieces to the extra pile that I want to use for the video and I have some press on nails here because I am on a nail strike i'm trying to grow my nails out all long and pretty like the, my index and middle finger everybody else kind of broke you know they're fake and um yeah i'm gonna be showing you what i'm using now i got these nail tabs from nailing these tabs are crazy like i put them on and i kept them on all day long they did not budge or anything like that so I'm gonna open it up here and show you guys I actually had to put in a lot of force to take them off it was actually pretty hard like it wasn't painful at all which was pretty cool so I would definitely recommend you guys getting these they were only about eight dollars off of Amazon and they give you about like 56 tabs So I'm just going to jump right in, I'm going to place them on, and this was my first time using these so I kind of had to figure it out as I was doing them in this moment. So I'm kind of measuring my nails, hovering them over the tabs and choosing which one would fit the best for size. And they're really sticky. so. Once you take it off, just make sure that you keep it clean because they are going to stick. This one was longer than my actual nail, so I just went ahead and cut the extra piece off pretty sad look how short he is compared to my first two nails <sighs> we can have a funeral later now we're going to the last nail my pinky nail now I'm just gonna start taking the plastic off and start pressing the press on nails and they're pretty strong you can see here i'm like knocking it as hard as i can and they don't budge it actually kind of hurt my nail Now I'm just filing the ends because I don't want them on there. We're gonna take that extra plastic off. 
and once I do that Now I am wiping my nails off with a alcohol pad just to kind of clean it up. Here I'm finally showing you guys where I got the nail tips from. So these nail tips are basically, you know, coffin shaped nail tips from ick basket or ec basket i'm not sure how you say it but this is the packaging i also got them from amazon and they were about like 10 11 dollars they're pretty sturdy like they have a good amount of thickness so i could use acrylic i can also use gel it really doesn't matter here I am pulling out all my supplies because we are about to get started. I realized in the middle of this that I wanted to make it more me, so I kind of cut up the keyboard more so I could pull out that cue. Here's my girl, she helps me out all the time. This piece right here was way too heavy. You're gonna see in a moment, it's horrible. And every time I do nails, it's such an ugly process, but you always learn something as you're doing them, or I'm saying you like you're here doing the nails, but every time I do nails, I always learn a different way of doing them. And also my placements of putting the objects that I want to encapsulate because you never know what you want to do. I'm very indecisive, so we're going to see what I do. So I have my IBD gel here and we are going to put down a very thin layer and we're going to cure it for about 30 seconds just because the layer is really thin. And once that's good, I'm going to find a piece that I want to put on it and this is the piece that was too heavy. It's going to slide right off. Ready? Whoop. It's gonna slide off again. And then I got sick and tired of it. So then I got a better piece. So I'm starting over, as you can see, sucks, but it actually came out better than what it could have looked like. Now I'm placing in those little sensors, and here is a piece of the green boards. I don't know which one that is. I think that's the one with all the holes in it. That board was like $20. I was like, next time I'm just gonna go to my father because he's a computer scientist. He has all of these laying around. So now I'm just gonna place them as neatly as possible. It's, I'm telling you guys, it's a really ugly, cringy process. So we're just gonna sit here through it and watch me give myself anxiety i'm definitely joking but overall this is a very long process you know you just gotta have patience for it i really encourage you guys to like go out of your comfort zone and try it i mean you don't have to try this exactly but you know on a nail or even on a practice hand just kind of build your patience up it's going to help i promise you here I am, just adding more on, and I'm going back and forth with the gel. I'm curing and adding pieces. Um, it's easier whenever the gel is 
sticky so you cure it for maybe about like 30 seconds like i said in the beginning and just make sure that it's tacky you don't wipe you just add Oh, look, it's the cue. It's me right there. I don't know how you guys like watching stuff like this. Me rewatching this is making my stomach hurt. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Look at them, they're coming out so good and I'm barely putting anything on them. The nails kind of fill up quickly so you don't have to worry about how you're going to make it work because the pieces are so small. It's gonna work either way. You just gotta make sure that you kind of place them. You have to make sure that the order kind of makes sense. So I'm getting pretty close to being done. I'm just gonna keep adding my gel and curing it just to make sure that all the pieces are encapsulated so that anytime I wash my hands or take a shower or doing any activities that involve water that none of that moisture gets inside of the nail or any of the encapsulated pieces that weren't fully encapsulated they can get damaged and it'll make like discoloration and it's not cute at all And here I am putting on a top coat and then after the top coat I'm going to oil my cuticles with this super cute cuticle oil that got sent to me from a friend. It has real flowers in it and it smells so good. And that's about it. That's all I got for y'all today. If there's any other type of design or videos that you guys want me to do, just leave a comment down below. I'll have everything in the description box if you want to purchase anything. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram at I-D-U-N-N-O-Q Nails. I will be selling these press-on nails for you guys. So just kind of shoot me a DM. 
and that's about it thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video